I'm resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft and will be selecting 20 players to build a team. For this draft, I will only be able to select players that have an odd number for their overall. Once all the picks have been made, we will assemble the team and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. Alrighty, let's find out which squadron we will be representing for this draft. It is the... Recent Stanley Cup winning Flow Rida Panthers. This video probably won't come out for a while, but I'm recording it on July 5th. There have been a lot of free agent signings and the roster hasn't come out yet. I could do it myself, but I'm not going to. Fantasy draft on, owner mode off, salary cap on. I don't know why I had that off. And last but not least, there was this channel's longest running joke, still ongoing, Jabroni. You will not be touching my lines. I feel like I do actually make a lot of references where if someone's watching a video for the first time, they're going to be like, what is going on? But then for you guys to watch frequently, it's like, if you know, you know. We will be drafting at number 22 in this fantasy draft. We are 30. Holy, that sucks. The only silver lining is that we get very close to back-to-back -back picks. I've got a not-so-crazy one for you. Let's bring Samwise back. I do want to draft Thatcher, but Jake Ottinger's making a milli less, three years younger, and has more abilities. You know, kind of have to go with Otter. Eric Carlson couldn't have been 89. Come on, give him the one overall bump. Brandon Montour headed to the Seattle Kraken. Could get a left-wing sniper to play with our boy Reinhardt, but I'm not going to because I do plan to take Ovi. I think he'll just be there. Well, he definitely will because the next pick is like four away. If I have drafted him in NHL 24, I don't remember it. So we're going with Wild Bill, 87, making nearly six, and he can be the first line center. And then to complete that first line, we will be going with Over Chicken. All right, should probably look at getting some support for Otter. Chris Letang has five abilities. And 6.1 is not too bad for 87 overall, so let's sign him up. Ekholm is still here, which is amazing. That will be our first defensive pair. Nobody seems to want the Zook or Brent Burns, but I will gladly take them because they are an odd overall. So let's go with Zuccarello first. And he is, in fact, still here. So the Yeti is joining our team. That salary is absolutely ridiculous, but just simply for the fact that I don't know if I've ever taken Tyler Sagan, gonna make it a first today. Gus's contract is really good. 3.1. Welcome to the floor. Florida Panthers, pal. There's only one player at 85 overall, and I will not be taking him because he's making 8 mil, and I've already done my big spending with Sagan, so no. Charlie Lindgren, 83 overall, has a sub 900 save percentage there, which I imagine is probably going to be similar to what we get. Yeah, let's just get goaltenders out of the way. Will this give us three right-handed defenders? Yeah, it sure will. However, Matt Waugh, or Roy, I believe in this case it's Roy, is joining... Our squadron, a defensive defenseman with an ability, 83 overall, Braden McNabb, sign him up. We do already have a lot of centers, but most of them can play a second position. So Henrik had pretty good face-offs, I think. 83 isn't bad, which is the same as his overall. And last time we picked him, he simulated pretty well. So we're going to run it back. At this current moment, we have one left winger, and that is about to change right now because we are getting a draft veteran. JVR. Five more picks to make and we have 11 million. We should be okay. I was considering giving Scotty Boy a go here, but Scotty doesn't know. He's also an offensive defenseman. So we're going to be going with Tobias, who is a two-way defender. These two 83 overall players are making too much. So we are going to scroll down to the 81s. Barkley could be a good depth grinder. He is 81 overall, so he fits the bill and he is signing a contract to this team, whether he wants to or not. Yet another centerman. That can play another position. Travis Boyd, 1.7, will be our 18th pick. Mostly for the memes, our penultimate pick is going to be Evgeny Dadanov, a 2BC GM legend. Dadanov! This guy randomly went off and started doing really well, so Martinuk is going to be our final selection of the draft. Here is a little sneak peek at our squad. We are by no means a young team, but hopefully we can get her done. I have a good feeling about the chemistry, which is not a good thing. Let's find out if we got some green, some red, or a bunch of yellow. Plus five on the first line is absolutely fire. How many times do I have to tell you no, old man? James Van Riemsdyk on the second line is an interesting look. We have a lot of centers, so I'm going to try something interesting here. I'm going to play Nykvist on the left side and put Sagan up here. That does give us a zero. I like it better with this second line, Carlson, Nyquist, and Sagan. And then this is our bottom six. I could actually move JVR up, so I will do that. Now let's hope our defense has a little bit of green, but realistically, we're just hoping for no red. 
All right, that's fine. Our starting goaltender is Otter, backed up by Charlie Lindgren. I want to just double check, make sure everybody is an odd overall. And we're all set. Reinhardt gets the most points with 92, and we get 44 wins in the lofts. Let's simulate. Hey, Brian Elliott, he's been in quite a few videos. When I build teams to do the versus format, he's typically the goalie. Our team's doing okay. We're near the middle of the pack at the moment. We had 34 wins at the trade deadline. Let's just jump in real quick to see who's available. We got Steven Stamkos, Jeremy Swayman, Zach Hyman. Holy. I have a feeling there's going to be a bunch of trades to go through after this. We will start it off with Geeky and a first going to Ottawa in exchange for Blake Coleman, Eric Howla, and Eric Johnson. Zach Hyman becomes a Canadian in exchange for a first and Aki. Edmonton obtains a first and... Forsfjall for Bjugstad Arvidsson, a third in Vlasic. Definitely nailed it. Oh, that was it. We take those. Are you kidding me right now? I stopped the simulation to go edit the lines because we're not getting things done. And then we win two games in a row. All right, I guess I'll keep it going. We had an 8-7 shootout win against the Islanders. That is nuts. All right, come on. Win some more games here. We're not going to make it, are we? Wait, whoa! Why is our division so good? I might as well sim the playoffs. There's no point going to look at all the stats just to come back. Actually, I will stop here because we got to go look at both of their teams and also look at the team that won the Presidents, which could be one of them. Yeah, that's insane. We had 104, 104, 103, and 100 in our division. Four of the top eight teams are from the Atlantic. Ah, uh, you know what? We wouldn't have made it anyway. We finished 19th in the league. New Jersey got somewhat finessed at 15, but yeah, 86 points really isn't that great. First line clearly had some struggles. Reinhardt 77, OV 76, and then Wild Bill down here with 64. That's not gonna cut it. Zook though, a very impressive 73 on the second line. Charlie surprisingly played amazing, had nearly a 920 save percentage, 6, 7, and 0 record. Two shutouts. Otter did all right, but maybe I should have gone with Demko. 45 points for Brent Burns. We get 34 for Latang, and then it is a complete drop-off. We're talking about a cliff right here. Jacob Markstrom on the Toronto Maple Leafs put up 44 wins and had exactly a 900 save percentage. Soros had a 924. What an amazing season for him. What does the Fox say? 92 points. And then we get 86 from Evan Bouchard. 82 exactly point a game for Darlene and McCarr. The individual cleaning up at the awards ceremony this year is going to be Nikita Kucherov. 115 points. 53 tucks. Wins the Art Ross. Probably the heart. Gonna get the Rocket Richard. At least I imagine yeah Matthews had 49 it was the Columbus Blue Jackets that won the president's trophy they had Philip Forsberg Marty Natchez and Adrian Kempe as their first line so again no gold abilities here they did have a gold ability on defense Quinn Hughes 95 overall not a big deal playing with Truba and in net they had Georgiev so yeah he was the only gold on the entire team now in the finals we have the Calgary Flames Margeso Mr. Conn Smythe playing with Pappy and Stone Goudreau Duchesne and Hartman that's an interesting second line but Clearly it worked. Having Shea and Drew as a defensive pair is absolutely insane. I love that for them. Martinez and Petrie, very good. And they got two goalies that they are able to rely on with Varlamov and Talbot. Now the Buffalo Sabres, Kevin Fiala, Nate Dogue, and Vladdy Tarasenko. Very solid line number one. Second line is interesting. 82 overall, Brandon Saad. They also really decided to stack up on the left side. What an interesting team this is. Spencer Knight, their goaltender, 88 overall, only 23 years of age, and now playing for the Stanley Cup. That is nuts. Let's see which team can get it done. Calgary takes the 1-0 series lead, and they take a 2-0 series lead. That's huge. Thought they were going to go three, but nope, it is now a 2-1. I speak broken English. I don't know what's going on, but I can't talk today. The amount of stuff I've already had to cut out is crazy. At this point, I'm just going to start leaving it in. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by myself, let's keep the playoff sim going. It is a 2-2 series. Best of three for the Stanley Cup. Who's going to take the advantage? Wow. Calgary was up 2-0, and now their backs are against the wall. Game seven. Unfortunately, I don't think we can go in and watch it, but... 
It will be the Buffalo Sabres going on to win the Stanley Cup. Colorado Eagles taking the Calder Cup. Spencer was phenomenal. A 9.14 save percentage. Sorokin had, I think, a 9.18 during the season and now a 9.25. But his team just couldn't play in front of him. There's Thatcher. Could have been ours. Shea Theodore over point a game in the playoffs. Evan Bouchard very close. Doughty 17. Even though this man did not win the Stanley Cup. Give him the con Smythe. Are you kidding me? 29 points in 20 games? Wasn't his fault. Johnny Goudreau had 29 in 21 games. Shifley, 27 points in 20 games. Then we got Nate Mack, 26 points in 24 games. Cooch did get the Art Ross, but he did not get the heart. Tage Thompson splits up the Art Heart combo. Are you kidding me? Adam Fox with the Norris. The Lady Bing goes to Pasta. Bedsy does get the Calder. I feel like it's been a hot minute since he got it. The Con Smythe is awarded to Nate Dog. That's crazy. Saros gets the Vesna and the Jennings. The Bill Masterton is awarded to Carlo. Capaduca with the Jack Adams. That's a fun name to say. Sydney the Kidney acquires the Frank J. Selke Trophy. Tage Thompson gets another one. The Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard, as we saw, goes to Cooch. Your playoff tree, Calgary. Did very well up until the Stanley Cup Finals, then they couldn't hang. Just kidding. It went to seven, so they very much made a competition out of it. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Rumor on the street is that if you like this video, your team makes the playoffs next year, and if you subscribe, they win the Stanley Cup. I don't make the rules. On that note, I'll see you soon.